Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and we are prospecting in the Alpine, and today we've come down to one of our local creeks to see if we can rob it of some gold. Let's see how we go. So the plan of attack for today is, I'm going to try and follow this little bit of bedrock down until I hit a bit of a clay layer, and then I'm going to take off a little bit of this stuff here just to see what's in it. I know most of it's overburden, but you just never know. And it looks like a little bit of a root system down there, so hopefully that's caught a little bit of the gold. So I'm just going to fill up a few buckets today because as you can see the creek's pretty dry and the only little bit of water I have is in this puddle here which I've brought down with buckets. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the budget bucket classifier out and just fill up some buckets and take them down to the creek and give it a bit of a pan. And walking back to the creek I noticed this massive bit of bedrock sticking out here. It looks like it has been dug out before but you just never know, all the dirt around it does look pretty interesting so that might be worth a future mission. These are the six classified buckets I got out of that little bit of a hole there. We ended up getting down to the clay layer, so it'll be interesting to see what comes out of these. This was one of the buckets of overburden that we saw up the top there, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. So I better get this pan wet and get into it, eh? Remember guys, if you are enjoying the videos, please hit that like button and follow my page. It would be muchly appreciated. Thank you. This is one of the pans I decided to film. It was material out of one of those white buckets there, so it was a little bit of overburden and a little bit of clay lay, which I hit down the bottom of that hole. And remember guys, when you are down the river panning, or creek panning for that matter, always pan against the creek or river, so that way anything that's going to be washed out will get pushed back in, instead of getting pulled out by the water if you're panning downstream, or with the flow of the river, sorry. And try not to let the water come too high up in the pan here. You sort of only want it just to go a little bit past the top of the dirt. Maybe if you're at Reedy Creek, you have it a little bit under the dirt so it doesn't wash the fines out of the corner. But down here, the gold is pretty heavy, so I'm not really worried about that. And remember, always shake that pan every couple of goes in the water because the gold will sit to the bottom. So always shake, shake, shake. And when I am putting my pan in the water, I'm just sort of dipping it in, pretty much keeping it at the same angle. Just dip it in, slowly take it out. Just dip it in and slowly take it out. You just want the water just to take off that top layer. And I am always watching the very edge of the pan, just in case anything slips past the edge. Or gets close to it, and then you just quickly chuck it back and give it a quick shake, just to pull it all back in again. Alrighty then, let's have a quick reveal and see what we have in this pan, shall we? Can already see a couple of bullets in there, so that's a good start. Oh, hello. What's next to that bullet in the corner there? Bloody good picker in there, boys. You. This is what I ended up with for the day. Two nice little pickers, and if you hang around, I'll chuck them on the scales. Oh, he's a pretty good one at point zero six two. Alrighty, now let's chuck this other one on and see what this guy weighs. Oh, he doesn't weigh too bad at 0.127. So I'm very, very happy with those two pickers. That makes the day all worth it. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you have a good one.